episode opens with Uri confessing his love for Suji. He can no longer keep his feelings a secret. He chooses to leave the Sun Young family register, returning to his role as her boyfriend. Uri's eyes welled up when Sun Young asked him to choose Suji, but he doesn't know if it was sadness or joy. One thing is certain, he feels a sense of relief now that he's made his decision. Sun Young, the first to hear of Uri's choice, is grateful. She believes he has made the right decision. She also reveals to Suji that she encouraged Uri to return to her, believing it was the best. She didn't want to see them both continue to suffer. Sun Young then shares a revelation. Kimaru has asked for her help in arranging a genetic test for Uri and herself. Sun Young cautions that if Uri is truly Kimaru's biological son, it will be a painful discovery. He will be heartbroken to learn he was abandoned by his birth parents at such a young age. He will also be deeply disappointed to realize that the mother he has always known isn't his biological mother. So you find this news confusing. While it would be wonderful if Mari were Uri's biological mother, she knows the initial blow would be devastating for him. The next day, Suji and Uri announce their relationship to the family. They are showered with congratulations. Everyone is sure that their house will be filled with joy now that the problem has been resolved. However, there is a ringering shadow. A question of Uri's true identity remains unanswered. The following day, Uri meets with Jin Tae. He refuses a transfer to the Chengju branch, feeling unqualified to head the psychiatry department there. He doesn't believe the opportunity is right for him. Jin Tae, however, insists that he chose Uri for a reason, believing in his abilities. He urged Uri to reconsider. Meanwhile, Kimari enters Jin Tae's room as Uri leaves. She accuses Jin Tae of trying to disdain Uri from her by forcing him to move to Chu Chu. Jin Tae, of course, denies her accusations. Suji, still troubled by Uri's recurring dream, brings it up. She wants to know where the dream took place and why he cried after waking up. Uri can't remember the location and can't pinpoint the reason for his tears. He only remembers feeling very sad after waking up. Suji, determined to help, asked Kimari to invite her and Uri for dinner. Kimari readily agreed. Suji suggests that Uri explain to Kimari that he is not Hyunwoo. She hopes that being in Kimari's house again might trigger Uri's memory of the dream. After all, he had a sad dream after returning from Kimari's house before. Perhaps this time it will lead him to some answers. That's everyone, the recap of the last night episode. Thank you for watching.